Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. And in this week's episode we have a number of amazing props for detailing and a massive football stadium. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get on with it. So first up this week we have the return of Los Gecko. He has released a number of beautiful farmhouses inspired by both France and Belgium but I'd also say that they have a bit of the UK flair about them as well. These are just really good models. I do love this sort of a build. There's not that many sort of farmhouses that look realistic like this type of model. So these are certainly great ones for putting into your village or even just an old town. So you've got some great variances here as well. And for me personally, I love the fact it's purely just the actual house model. There's no trees or default stuff on here, allowing you to get straight in and detail these buildings as you please. And the night shots are just as great, an extremely great model. And now a familiar name of King Leno. He's released this brick wall pack, which includes a number of brick walls in different heights, uh, a brick wall with a fence, and also a gateway and pillar. These are beautiful. So whether you want to make yourself a nice wall around your building, or even you could construct yourself some sort of a module building with the brick walls, etc. The possibilities are endless here. And I would also like to say, if you want to see a model creator play City Skylines, King Leno has got his own series now called Bluff City, so check that out. Next up, we have one of the biggest assets I've seen on the workshop, and this is by Bad Peanut. He has released the Match Day Stadium. And when we say match day, this includes everything. We have the stadium, we have a little seated area, we have the Galloway all the way into the stadium, and we have a train station. So the combination of everything required for a realistic football stadium. And talking of realistic, this actually also works with the recent downloadable content, match day. Now there's a few months ago where we didn't have any half decent stadiums and in the space of two weeks we've had two beautiful ones modelled for us. This one I would particularly say is a lot more in terms of European, a bit more British in my opinion, it's a, a more modern type of stadium and the detail of the actual build itself is beautiful. Now depending on how much of a detailer you are you may want to use something a bit more modular if you're building your own football stadium but this does tick all the boxes for those who want to plop down a beautifully designed football stadium with everything that it's needed all around it. Now there are a lot of good assets out there that are let down by the nighttime viewings but look at this, this is by all means done beautifully. The only thing I would probably change is the little car park on the left hand side, there's some of the parking locations that aren't quite to my satisfaction but that's a very very minor point to pick out on an absolutely brilliant model. Great work. Next up we have the return of the Bush King himself, P. Delmo, and this week it's the Garden Bush that took my fancy. And these do look beautiful, whether it's in a cluster, in a hedge type solution, or just singly placed. It's a great Garden Bush to be placed in any of your properties. And what I love about the releases from P. Delmo is we think we've had all the trees and bushes that are necessary, and then bang, he brings out another that catches our eye and we plop like crazy in our cities. Now for the third week running we have another prop from Armesto and this time it's the stone wall prop and I wanted to show this one off because one the detail is absolutely intense and two we don't really have a lot of beautiful sort of old looking stone wall sort of sea walls in the workshop and the angles he's created on the actual walls himself do look beautiful and you can put this around any harbour you want and you can even make it into a pier. I did experiment a little bit with the middle section here sort of creating a long pier out into the sea. So again 
Use your imagination and take full advantage of this beautiful prop from Armesto. Up next we have De Caza with the Football Soccer Asset Pack and what perfect timing for this pack to be released. We've had our football stadiums this month and now we have our football training grounds and accessories. So I personally do see this more as a sort of training facility props but you can obviously create your own stadium as you please or just place these down as park based sort of um, football grounds where you'd play your sort of Sunday league etc. So the pack includes a number of items, we have the real grass football pitch and fake artificial grass, we have a smaller one as well for more youth and park football playing, we have a number of goals, we have the white goal with nets in four colour variances and also the yellow net as well, we have the high fences to stop the ball going out of play, floodlights and two small buildings including a garage. So pretty much everything you need to create your own training facility so why not this weekend have a go try and create the Bayern Munich training ground or anyone you want next to your beautiful football stadium. Up next we have Lembrana with his graveyard pack. So we've not really had a huge array of different types of tombstones etc and Lembrana has just released this pack with a number of alternate versions. So for your churchyards go crazy, make yourself a beautiful looking realistic graveyard. Up next we have a fairly new contributor in 220 Hertz with his province house. Now this is actually built on a province house in Canada, you'll find it in Charlottetown and it's the province capital. Now the building itself is 10 by 10 and it comes with the already designed sort of garden around it so everything you really need to plop down and get detail in. It's classed as a unique building so it can certainly be used as your town hall or even something a little bit more fancy like a hotel or even a manor house. Last week we were blessed with a beautiful police station, this week Senfcorn has blessed us with an amazingly detailed fire station. Now the fire station itself works beautifully along with the fire department that Sefcon released a few months back and the detail of both are incredible. If you want to have a detailed looking modern type of fire station or firehouse then this is the guy for you. Now the size of the building is similar to the vanilla fire station, it's 4x3 and it's got a great try count so you're not going to be lagging your game down despite the detailing involved. Now last but not least we have my favourite release of the week, it's the Jubilee Hall University by Duff. Now the level of detail involved in this building is astonishing. The brickwork looks amazing, the roof looks amazing, everything that I can see I am amazed by. Personally, being a heavy detailer, the only things that I would like to change on this is removing the default trees and rocks. But for those that aren't interested in detailing, the combination is still very, very nice. And here we can see the zoomed in version of the actual brickwork and the modeling. It's absolutely astonishing and by all means, certainly deserves this week's final tribute. Hey, 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 hey. 
So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's asset roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.